everyone, Jeff here with A Taste for Whiskey, and on today's episode of Mixing It Up with Bill, it's Cinco de Mayo, and I was expecting a margarita. This is not a margarito. It is not a margarito. <laughs> margarito. <laughs> it's not a margarita, but this is delicious. Exactly. So today we're making it Paloma. So Paloma is actually the national cocktail of Mexico, so very appropriate to celebrate on the Cinco de Mayo. So Paloma, tequila-based cocktail. We have to, single in mayo. Okay. So we'll start off, since this is a citrus-based drink, you'll see we have our 100% grapefruit juice. So we know from citrus, do we shake or do we stir? Well, I remember on our first episode, you shake. You shake it. So that's and, what we got. You know, this is a little cheater. <laughs> it's a shaker here. Exactly. Give him the cheat codes to the test here. <laughs> so we have our shaker. So this shaker is an old-fashioned shaker. Uh, my mother-in-law, we found this in her basement. So very old shaker. I think it looks like a clear jug. I love golf, and it goes right along with that. Oh, I love it. Exactly. So in our shaker, we already have some ice cubes in there just to chill the drink before we start mixing it. So our first ingredient, we have Reposado tequila. So we'll go with two ounces of tequila. So we'll pour that in there. I always hear Reposado is always the best when you're making a good um, t uh, tequila cocktail, right? Exactly. And same thing, you should make sure you like your tequila before you mix it. Okay. It should be your, one of your standout. We're not trying to hide things. We're trying to make them cohesive. That is the point of this episode, right? Exactly. Or actually mixing it up with Bill. Exactly. Enjoy the enjoy the yeah. uh, whiskey or enjoy the spirit and the uh, mixture. Correct. We're not 21 years old anymore. <laughs> We're trying to be sophisticated. So we start off with tequila. Um, do you know what, uh, Cinco de Mayo, what are we actually celebrating? No. No. <laughs> Well, Jeff, let me pour you a story. So we're gonna start off with our tequila as we have in there. Next, we're gonna pour a little bit of lime juice. So we'll go about a quarter um, ounce of lime juice. So Cinco de Mayo, a lot of people think it celebrates uh, Mexican Independence Day. So it's not like mm -hmm. our 4th of July. A lot of people think that, but the uh, Mexican 4th of July, or Mexican Independence Day is really um, September 16th. So okay. what Cinco de Mayo celebrates is uh, the Battle of Puebla. So it was a battle um, of Mexico versus France in the Mexican-Franco uh, War. Um, so it was a morale-boosting battle. Mm. So it didn't end the war. It didn't really do much but boost morale for the Mexican army. Okay. So that's what we're celebrating on Cinco de Mayo. So okay. that was in 1862. So way back when. Yeah. Way back when. So going back to our cocktail before our ice starts to melt, after we pour our lime, we're also going to pour 100% grapefruit juice. So I like to use stuff that we all, most of us have in our home. So we're gonna use a grapefruit juice out of the container. If you wanna get fancy and buy a grapefruit, cut it, juice it, go get it. Just be careful of the acidic <laughs> nature of the grapefruit. Right, exactly. So we have that in there. Um, so once we look at Cinco de Mayo in 1863, California decided to start celebrating Cinco de Mayo. So they celebrated throughout California and then in the 1980s, 1980s, we started to see a lot of beer companies, a lot of oh, tequila yeah. companies that would market it and then the holidays started to spread across the country. Oh, that's that's cool. That's where we got to where we are right now. So as opposed to you know celebrating the, the Battle of Puebla, what we're celebrating now is Mexican-American culture. Fantastic. Exactly. So we got all our ingredients in the shaker. Put the top on. We'll give it a little shake there. How intense you want to give it there. <laughs> we'll take the little top off here. We'll pour it over our ice cube. So this one has a built-in strainer. We'll just pour that right over the ice cube. I think about three quarters of the cup or so full. And then just to top her off, we'll go with some Fresca, so a little extra grapefruit um, oh. flavored beverage. We'll pour that in there. You know, it's funny, Bill. Uh, grapefruit juice, I don't really like grapefruit juice. Mm. But this cocktail, yeah. oh my word. Kind of neutralizes it, some it, of the it, bitterness. Per, absolutely. This exactly. is fantastic. We'll give her a little store at the end just to get some of the carbonation throughout the whole drink. And then we have our classic Paloma. Oh man, this is better than a margarita. Fantastic. Great job, A lot Bill. less sugar too. Amen. Amen. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.